oh, you guys want to hear, like, a couple verses or whatever? And they're like, wait, like, you can rap? Like, what? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? All right. Look, look at your man, now look back at me. I'm on a horse, back to the beat. She's on all fours, back of the Jeep. Golf course slow, back to the green. Could this rap thing really happen to me? Actually, y'all whacking to me. Sticking in your head like sap in a tree. I'm not free, I rap for a fee. Uh, okay, now welcome to my smorgasbord. Rappers on my plate, mmm, y'all cannot afford a course. Please go grab an order form. My CD, order four. Spread the word, door to door. You're important, more in store. Yeah, okay, I'm hotter than a sauna man Ballin' when I'm on a man Please call up your daughter and Round all up her hottest friends Tell her that it's Paul again We should spoon pots and pans Holly down, she's not a fan Uh, I think I need to inhale now I just got this mental sound Okay, class, pencils down <laughs> You know, if I just keep working at it I feel like there's no way that I'll uh, fail If I put my mind to it Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Paul Markham, and I'm coming at you with GetYourBizSavvy.com. Click that and go there. Hey, don't wait. When did you discover that you were good at rapping? All right, so let's see. So I started writing probably when I was around 14, and uh, you know, I would write about things that nowadays, looking back, obviously I wouldn't, like, I'd talk about, like, shooting guns, and I would talk about, like, selling coke and stuff like that, like, right when I first started, <laughs> which was funny, funny now looking back on it, but, um, you know, I just kept at it, and I kept, uh, I kept, um, you know, getting in the studio and just laying down tracks and whatever, and then, you know, gradually, I just got better and better, and by probably, you know, my junior year of high school or so, so probably about two years ago, when I was, like, 16, I really realized that, you know, I had a talent for it. And, uh, you know, ever since then, I've just kept going with it. You must have really liked it then when you got started, right? Uh, oh, yeah. I've always I've always loved rap music since, like, I was, like, 10 or, like, right when Eminem started to come out. Pretty much when, like, you know, all the white kids started to love rap, <laughs> like, even more. <laughs> you know, um, that's really when I first got into it. And, uh, you know, I always loved it. And then eventually I just tried it for fun at first. But, um you know, I loved, I loved writing. I, I like loved the feeling of writing and then like actually rapping what I just had put down on paper. So, you know, I just kept going with it and I'm still, still trying to do it, you know? So. And you don't look like your everyday rapper. I mean, I guess that's why you called your, uh, your mixtape a way you can rap. Yeah. How do people react when you tell them, you know, I rap and I can rap? <laughs> that, that exactly, that's exactly how I got the mixtape title. Like, uh, you know, I kind of picked it up at school, really. Um, you know, say we'd be at a party or whatever, um, you know, and, uh, you know, drinking and everything. And one thing leads to another. And I'm like, all right, I need a rap for some girls or some shit, you know. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, like I, you know, approach approach a group of girls or whatever and, you know, start talking or whatever. And then, you know, a few minutes later, I'm like, so you guys want to hear like a couple verses or whatever? And they're like, wait, like you can rap? Like what? <laughs> you know? So, um. Yeah, so that's pretty much, I mean, people people don't, uh, you know, look at me and say, oh, this kid can rap. But, you know, once I, once the words start to come out, you know, their opinion, their their judgmental opinion changes. So, And you go to the University of Massachusetts Amherst. What's your major yeah. right now? Uh, my major right now is resource economics. But um, I'm feeling like this year I'm just going to be super distracted by the music thing, but we'll we'll have to keep 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 a good eye on the book, the book work and everything. But uh, you know, yeah, I'm in the resource economics program right now, which is um a program under the uh, Eisenberg School of Management, which is um you know it's a pretty prestigious program or whatever. But uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this year academically and musically. So, so should be a great time. You're a smart dude, a rapper. And do you think you'll be able to uh, finish college on time, being that you're rapping now a lot? Or, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Um, you know, it, it, it depends on where the music thing ends up going, obviously. Um, to be completely honest, if the rap thing were to, like, completely pop off, it would be something that I would definitely pursue, you know, no matter where I am at in my college career. But um, I'm absolutely planning on 
you know, finishing school and uh, tr- continuing to balance school and, um, you know, the music thing. So, What do you think it's going to take for you to make it big and take you to the next level? Um, you know, just uh, I need to keep keep honing my craft and just keep developing a new my own sound. And, um, you know, it, it really only takes that one hit, kind of. And, um, you know, the rest will fall in place from there. And uh, I really think that, you know, as my buzz continues to grow, people will really, um, you know, enjoy listening to my music because, you know, it's unique. It's coming from a tall, lanky white kid who can spit. So, like, that's always a plus. And, um, you know, if I just keep working at it, I feel like there's no way that I'll uh, fail if I put my mind to it and keep doing it, you know? You got to have the right attitude for sure, bro. Yeah, absolutely. And what's in the works right now for you? Uh, are, will you be wrestling an album, another mixtape? I know you got weight, you can rap. What else is going yeah. on? Yeah, yeah. So that was my that was actually my first legitimate mixtape. Um, the buzz I the buzz I created before that was pretty much all off word of mouth. You know, like I would release some tracks here and there, but never on a full length tape or anything. Uh, kind of just you know videos. People were like knew I could rap. I did some shows and stuff. Um, but as far as now that people are starting to listen, uh, you know, cause I got like a cosign from Sam Adams and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm, I definitely want to put something out early September, another, another promo mixtape. Not sure what the title for that is going to be yet, but then, um, definitely sometime during the middle to end of first semester, I'm going to have probably my first full length EP available, but, uh, I'm definitely going to try and get another promo mixtape out of the way before that. What are your ultimate goals, man? Uh, you know, my ultimate goal is, you know, to, to, to make a living off being, you know, a rap artist. Uh, it's truly my passion. It's what I love to do. And, um, you know, I, I like doing it a lot more than I like doing resource economic stuff at school. So, (laughs) you know, so, um, I mean, I feel as though, uh, if I keep, you know, uh, if I keep making the music and I keep meeting the right people, which I have been recently, um, you know connection, making connections, you know, doing a lot of videos on YouTube, doing interviews just like this, you know, just getting promo material out there and, uh, having people hear me and listen to me. And, uh, I think it can just take off from there, you know, but we'll see. I mean, you're, you're, you seem like a really confident dude. And I think that's part of what, what it takes to, you know, be successful. But being that there's so many rappers and artists, what, um, why is it worth trying for you? Like to keep pursuing it? You know what I'm saying? It's just because I I I truth I truly know that I do have a talent in it, and I do know that I have like a different sound than a lot of the other uh, rappers out there. I try to be as versatile as possible, and I think that works to my advantage a lot. Like I can do like a straight hip hop track, or I could do kind of like the electronic type stuff. Um, you know, I could like I could spit like fast, I could go slow, I could like make make hooks or whatever. So. I try to juggle juggle a bunch of different things and try to be as versatile as possible. And I feel as though that will end up setting me apart from others. Are there any musicians or rappers that you look up to or that inspire your music? Um, I mean, of course, the uh, you know the obvious ones like M, J, um, Big, of course. Uh, you know, I'd like to. I truly like to say that the rappers even before that influenced me, but truthfully, like. That's not my era and stuff, so I don't really listen to them. So I would say, like, my true influences, you know, Eminem, Jay-Z, Biggie, like, like Nas. Um, I mean, and then, you know, some of the newer cats, too. Like, I, you know, I, I definitely look up to Sam Adams. Like, he's a, he's a friend of mine. And, uh, you know, with the success he's seeing right now, and he's still such a cool dude. Like, he's so down to earth. So, like, I applaud him for that, and I respect him a lot about that. So, um, I mean, yeah, th- that's about it. And what I, I mean, what I've seen about Sam is that he's taking this music and he's making it like an electro rap, but a, a level where you can have enjoy listening to it, you know, a totally unique level. And I yeah. see that also in you, but, like, you know, a different taste to that, too. Not not the same as Sam, but... Yeah, I agree. You know, a totally unique taste, which is really what the game needs, you know? I agree. So take us through a day in your life, man. Just an average day. You, what are you working on? An average day. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So you know, uh, I'm not. Uh, I do work. I, uh, I'm actually a um, <laughs> sales representative for like Vector. I sell kitchen knives to people. So 
you know, that helps me fund the rapping. But, um, you know, I try to, I try to write almost every day. I don't want to say I do write every day because I don't. Um, but I'm always thinking of ideas. Uh, I'm always thinking of concepts. I'm always thinking of different little rhyme patterns that I can incorporate into different songs or whatever. So rap is always in my head. Like even when I'm not sitting down and writing something, it's always, you know, I'm always thinking of stuff. So I'd say like a normal day for me is, you know, I get up, like I go to work, whatever. And, you know, my hometown is seriously stupid boring. So like I just find myself, yeah, like I just find myself in my room, like even during the hottest days in the summer. And, and, and as you can see, I do need a tan. But, <laughs> um, you know, I find myself in my room just, you know, writing, look, skimming through beats and uh, just trying to come up with ideas to keep promoting myself and keep going. That's what will keep you on top, you know, staying yeah. with everybody else. Sure. Paul, what advice can you offer to a young aspiring musician or rapper like yourself? Um, let's see. So advice I would give to, um, you know, up and coming rappers is just, uh, be as confident as possible. Uh, as far as like the personal type things go, stay as confident as possible. Um, you know, and make sure that you network yourself and make sure that you appreciate others who like your music because, when you show appreciation for the people who are supporting you, that will only help grow like what you're trying to do. Like if you're, if people are supporting what you're doing and you're not really even paying them any mind and not reaching out to them and thanking them and, you know, for supporting what you're doing, then I mean, what's it, what's really the point? Like, it seems like you're just doing it for yourself if you don't appreciate what other people are, um, you know, supporting you for. So I would definitely say be very appreciative to the people who support you, stay confident. And, um, as far as your image goes, try to make it as, you know, professionalism and official as possible. Like, you know, photo shoots, videos, the music's got to sound like the quality has got to sound on point or else people are going to be like, all right, well, this doesn't like, this doesn't sound great. So, you know, just stay as professional as possible and be appreciative. (laughs) 